on call 24-7. We just wait for a call from one of the sites to say that they have someone who needs to be evacuated to another hospital. We usually start off with a meeting in the morning. We go through plane availability, equipment availability. We discuss any recent cases. Uh, we discuss weather with the pilots and we discuss potential flights. For a lot of workers in rural and remote areas, effective medical care is a key concern of theirs. Aspen Medical has got a, uh, this program which allows them to receive very effective stabilisation and transport through to high levels of care in the major cities. Most frequently we call to Priority 2 events which um, are patients who require hospitalisation at a high level facility. Occasionally we'll get a Priority 1 event um, which is a true life threatening event. Part of the package is providing a high level of medical care for the duration of that flight and that can have its own challenges. If an incident happens on a large mining site or any other site in town we respond to that, bring the patient to hospital and if the patient requires further treatment we hand over to Aspen Medical. It's good to know that the further treatment they're going to get is always going to be beneficial for the patient and to know that they're in good hands. In my role as a pilot, uh, it's my responsibility to, op to make sure that the aircraft and uh, all the crew on board are safe at all times and we operate the aircraft safely from point A to point B. It's really nice to be able to be part of a team. It gives you a sense of purpose, really making a difference in people's lives. Over the years, it's not only just a single AME. Um, we may get a call while we're on an AME and pick up another patient. We can carry two patients or indeed three patients at uh, any one time. We've uh, also been flying when we've had multiple call outs, in other words, back to backs. We've had a, a few occasions where we've had five, six, even seven in a row over a space of uh, 48 to 72 hours, depending on what the uh, patient priority is. We're quite flexible. Experiences have been varied from minor cases to the most severe. Patients that should not have survived, but with early prompt intervention and medical care have made very positive recovery. Just the other night, we had a uh, case where a young man came in, had had an industrial accident out of, out of the port. His ankles were crushed. The whole team came together. We're working with the ambulance drivers, with the paramedics help them get in the aircraft in a succinct amount of time. His mother was there, she had a big smile on her face. Her son was delivered safely to the hospital. Just seeing her happy and seeing the guys survive is uh, what it's all about. Mm -hmm.